semi-automatic lateral stabilizers to stop the raised implement swinging around. The implement is released and is free to move as it is being lowered. Operating the hitch is very simple on all four tractors. Here we can see the New Holland fast lift out. And these are the controls for hitch position and drop speed on the New Holland tractor. The John Deere three-point hitch is lifted and lowered via this rotary type lever. Intermix, drop speed and hitch position controls are hidden under the armrest. The Case 7230 has a switch for fast lift out, a knob for intermix control and another one for travel control. Here as well, the controls for hitch response speed, drop speed and hitch position are located under a cover plate. On the Fent Favorite 822, a lever controls fast lift out and the knob adjusts the implement's working depth. Intermix drop speed and hitch position controls are located in the cab post. The hydraulic system forms part of the lift system. They are linked by the axial piston pump. There are only a few differences in operation between Case and New Holland. On both tractors, you find the familiar levers to control the spool valves and regulate the oil flow for each individual valve. Fent offers a similar solution, with the advantage of operating two spool valves simultaneously via this lever. The John Deere 8000 range comes with a totally new design for the hydraulic system. The operator controls the system from the armrest via buttons rather than levers, and they can be adjusted very precisely. As you lock the toggle switch, the oil flow is controlled electronically. Both flow and flow rate are set very precisely. Then you adjust the next valve. These settings allow you to set the trailer tip rate or plow turnover control to work precisely and to the second. We have not found a way of doing this more accurately. Good hydraulic performance is important for a wide range of jobs and this is why all the test tractors use a pressure and flow controlled load sensing system. This matches the hydraulic output far more precisely to the actual requirement than a normal gear pump. It also produces fewer losses. The DLG test station also checks the maximum pressure and the flow rate for Profi International. Here, Mr. Rotemeyer explains why, on some tractors with a large pump, it is necessary to measure the performance of two control valves simultaneously, even though just one valve can be used by one implement at a time. In the field, we often need to operate many functions at the same time. In this case, the oil flow has to be sufficient to meet the requirement. And that's why we don't measure the output of only one valve, but the total available output. It's often only possible to measure the output of a big axial flow piston pump when two control valves are coupled up. Let's see how our four test tractors performed in the hydraulic output test. Fent and John Deere achieved the highest operating pressure. While John Deere and Case fared best in maximum oil flow measured in liters per minute. The overall hydraulic output was highest on the John Deere followed by Fent some way behind. We consider it very important that the hydraulic spool valve connections are well marked and that the double caps, or even better single caps, provide a dust tight seal. We also check to see whether the hoses connect up easily, as they do here, even when the system is under pressure. It's often the small things which can make a big difference to whether the practical day-to-day -day operation is difficult or, as in this case, easy. Where the new John Deere 8200 is being fitted with dual wheels for plowing.
Moving and handling these large wheels is as difficult as fitting them. But finally, they fit tight. The implement can be mounted and we can go off to the field. Ten years ago, the farm machinery industry spotted the potential for using electronic systems. The electronic hitch control has made linkage operation much easier, and by comparing set and actual values, the electronic system results in much less wear compared with mechanical systems. A further development is that you can preset the engine speed on the John Deere with a cruise control, which uses electronics to keep the ground speed constant in the field. New Holland uses the electronic transmission control even for automatic gear changing. On all four makes, electronic displays provide readouts of at least engine speed and forward speed. Here, the electronic system is used for convenient and precise operation of the hydraulic system. Another convenience provided by electronics is the automatic disengagement of the differential lock for headland turns. Unfortunately, we found this feature only on the Fent and New Holland tractors. At ground speeds of more than 16 kilometers an hour, New Holland and John Deere automatically switch off the front wheel drive. Fent offers the most convenience for operators to help manage headland turns. Steering angle sensors control both front wheel drive and differential lock. The PTO on the Fent tractor is also electronically controlled. Flick a button and it starts within three seconds. The manual reveals even more options. Hold the button down for five seconds and the PTO connects immediately and positively without modulation control. Fent is the only manufacturer to offer an economy PTO, but this is not absolutely necessary in this power range. On the new Holland tractor, you pull out this knob to engage the PTO. To turn it off, just push it down. On the John Deere, you press the switch in and push it forward. To switch the PTO off, reverse the sequence. Case uses a lever which is pushed forward to turn the PTO on and pull backwards to disengage it. The design of Case and Fiat tractors provides enough room to connect the PTO shaft, but there's much less space on John Deere. The fence stub shaft is easy to reach. You can also connect up the PTO drive shaft from the side. Contractor Klaas Fekkes in the Netherlands has bought the Fent Favorite mainly because of its PTO. Each season, he manages to mow 1,200 hectares of grass. At 225 guilders the hour, he uses his three mowers 24 hours a day and cuts at a rate of five hectares per hour. Mr. Fekkes opted for Fent because of its versatile transmission and its good road transport qualities. We asked him about the tractor and mower. I was getting more and more requests from farmers to cut their grassland, so I developed this combination together with the mower manufacturer and my dealer. In big fields, I managed to cut about 100 hectares per day. 
It is an excellent combination and the tractor copes well with the demands placed on it.